Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the if-then-else statement in Visual Basic 2008. First, you want to open up uh, Visual Studio or Visual Basic and go to File, New Project. Then under Visual Basic Windows, go to Windows Forms Application and rename it to whatever you want. In this case, I'm going to be using Visually Basic If-Then VB. Then click OK. Um, it'll load up the default empty form. What we want to do is go under Toolbox and find Checkbox. Drag it on to the left of the screen. Now we want to click the checkbox and under Properties, change text to I'm not checked. And now it should be displayed like this. Now if you don't like the form 1 being in the top left of your um, form, then you can click the form and go to properties, text, and change it to whatever you want the text to be. And I'm, I'll say my checkbox. This is very simple layout, but that is really all you need to do for the layout. So now double click the um, checkbox and it should open up the um, coding environment. So, you type in, for the if-then statement, you want to type in if checkbox one dot checked is equal to true, then, and then hit enter and go down the line. Checkbox one dot text is equal to, um, in quotation marks, I'm checked else or else if but I'm gonna go with else for now I'll show you what else if looks like later but else checkbox one dot text is equal to I'm not checked so now if we click the green debug arrow at the top it'll load up our form and if we click it it will um, display whether it is checked or not. Although we only used a simple example, the if-then statement is, can, is applied to almost every program you see ever. Uh, it's the one of the most vital parts of programming. So, you can also, if you have multiple things instead of just if, else, you could also do if, else if. And then you have to type in checkbox one dot check is equal to false then and just basically add another one checkbox one dot text is equal to I'm not checked so as you can see this is basically just another if and then if there was a third option like else if checkbox one dot checked equals somewhere in between then you can obviously see that that isn't an actual option but I'm just saying if you had a third option then that would come in handy but for this case since there is no third option you can just stick with using else which makes it so for any other for any other possible occurrence somewhere in between or not checked then do this. Um, so yes, that is how you use the if then else statement in Visual Basic 2008. For more tutorials or information about Visually Basic, please visit www.visuallybasic.com.